In this video, I'm going to explain how to reset the MySQL root uh, password in case you've forgotten it. So, the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure that your MySQL server is not running. And we're going to do that by going to Control Panel, and if you're in uh, uh, Category View, switch to Classic View. Go to Administrative Tools, Services, scroll down a little bit. Come on. Go to MySQL and click stop. Whoop. And we're going to stop our MySQL server. Great, and it stopped. Minimize that. Don't need this anymore. Uh, and let me open up a command prompt. Now, what you're going to want to do is create a MySQL init.txt file using Notepad. Uh, and it's going to look like this. Use MySQL, semicolon, update MySQL.user, set password equal password, and then in parentheses and single quotes, whatever you want your new password to be. Let's say I want my new password to be, um, uh, well, this password, whatever. Where user equal root, semicolon, and then flush privileges. So let me can let me save this guy and exit. Now, now that my MySQL server has stopped running, I'm going to go into my c colon backslash programs directories backslash MySQL backslash MySQL server and then the server number whatever it's going to be for you. You can just hit tab actually uh, as you're typing these things out and it'll auto complete. <clears throat> now there's going to be a my.ini file, an initialization file, and in the bin directory, there's going to be mysqld.exe. So let me back out of this bin directory and type bin, oops, backslash mysq, mysql. There we go. And if you've installed from the command line GUI, like I explained how to do in my first tutorial on MySQL, you do defaults file equals, and I can just type double quote my dot any double quote. And then init file, so double dash init dash file equals, and here's this gets a little bit tricky, so pay attention to this. Capital C colon backslash backslash backslash. Now since mine's on my desktop, I have to go to documents, documents and settings, backslash uh my username backslash desktop backslash mysql init.txt now here's where it gets a little bit tricky what I need to do is I have to go in and, and give escape characters so I need to do double backslashes wherever I would normally place a single black backslash and if you want to watch what's happening you can do <clears throat> double dash console and that'll print messages out to the console as to what's going on and actually once I get here I'm pretty much done so I can control C to get out of this go back to services start up my SQL server again now it's running and now watch this I can go to my MySQL command line client and type this password and it didn't work. Uh-oh. Let's try that again. This password. And here I am. I'm in. Uh, obviously, the, the, the first time I did it, I just didn't type the right password. So, well, this is how you do it. This is how you can reset a lost root password uh, for MySQL server running on Windows. Thanks a lot.